Hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you would like a personal reading, a cord cutting, or a bath cleansing ritual kit, which is here, my new bath salt that I am so happy with Scorpio. It is so beautiful. I have prayed. I have meditated on this for 10 days. It comes with two 10 hour burn candles, white sage, as well as a prayer ritual card that you can use um, time and time again. You can also use that prayer ritual in the shower. It is important for you to be cleansing out your energy. If you do not buy my bath kit, just cleanse it on your own. If you would like to enter to win a half hour FaceTime reading, you can do that by liking, subscribing, and commenting. Blessing. Well, Scorpio, Dorpio, I hope you're doing well, vibing high, and getting ready to live another beautiful week out here on planet Earth. I do have some channeled messages from Spirit. I'm also hearing, baby, yo, stand out, stand out. I don't know. Ooh, 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 ooh. Baby, you're a stand out, stand out. That's what I started hearing in my meditation. Some of you may be listening to that song. I don't know the artist as per always, but I've been getting a lot of music downloads. Mm. So with that being said, Scorp, there is something uh, that is blocking you. There is blockages here in your life that you need to get a handle on. You seem to be uh, spending a lot of time alone in solitaire. And, and, and I feel, Scorpio, that there's some framework that needs done. There's something that needs to um, be changed here in your life, a little more structure, some framework for something. You may be thinking about building a home. You may be thinking about moving. You may be thinking about starting a new business. But the framework needs to be uh <clears throat> dealt with. You need to um, work on getting some more structure in your day-to-day -day life. If you're looking to start your own business, for example, writing out everything that needs done and then completing one thing a day or completing one thing a week will be helpful. Micro goal set. Death here, scorpionic energy. Embrace the fleeting moments and find solace in memories. And the Emperor Aries energy here. <clears throat> Command attention and leave a unforgettable impression. Baby, y'all stand out, stand out. Come on something, stand out. Ooh, Scorpio, you're being called now to uh, be a standout, my friends. Stand up, command presence and really find solace in in your alone time you are being called here to uh start moving forward though scorpio um it seems to me like you're taking steps forward and then you're getting pushed back there's something that ended in your life with perhaps a masculine energy uh, you could be co-parenting with a father or a mother um and things have not been great. You could have just more recently than not had an ending with this person. Some of you, there is a boss or a some a business owner about to offer you a really good opportunity, but the framework has to be laid. If you want to find a new job, for example, filling out applications, getting your resume up to par, doing those kind of things, really taking all the steps you need to take towards something right now. Affirmation. Be aware of your language and thoughts. The most powerful statement you can ever make, think, or feel is thank you. Be grateful for all the blessings in your life as we acknowledge divine order. The universe responds with ever great blessings. You are a powerful creator. All you say and think resonates through the heart of creation and creation responds accordingly. The divine asking you to speak kind words to yourself. If you don't say daily affirmations, you may want to start. Every morning I wake up and I say, universe, I am open and receptive to all you have to offer me. I open up my arms. I visualize divine light coming down onto me just for the first couple minutes when I wake up. 
some of you need to get a better routine and um, start saying some affirmations to try to retrain your subconscious mind as well as speak positivity out into the ethers. You're healing right now. Again, Aries energy, emperor energy here. And my goodness, Scorpio, do we have major things happening. A lot of healing in Aquarius or a Pisces could be important to you in your life. Scorpio, you are uh, about to stand out in your community, stand out in whatever it is you do. You could go viral. Some of you could have actual stardom. Others, you're going to stand out to an employer and you may actually get a uh, some kind of promotion or ask out on a date. Some of you have a new lover about to enter and this person knows what they want. They know where they've been and they know where they're going. They're not going to play games with you, Scorp. With this back and forth, they don't know what they want. This is someone who will want to build and grow with you. So those looking to meet a new lover, that is a, about to be possible in the next four to nine weeks. You may want to look up angel number 444 a lot of protection here for you i'm seeing 444 in my third eye right now scorpio a lot of you you are being protected from something or somebody regarding your love life it looks like you feel stuck trapped tied down there's someone that's concealing things from you they are uh in the background making some moves that you're not aware of but the holy spirit is aware and uh sometimes what's done in the dark we may not see but the divine sees scorpio there's distance between the two of you you could be possibly at a distance from this person or there's just emotional distance but there's a lot of depth there's a lot of importance to this connection tell me about it this this connection is really important to you and the divine order this is a relationship that was always meant to be it is for your healing and your growth you may have went through a spiritual awakening since you have met this person you're definitely healing for a sword's energy thinking about where you want to invest your time your energy and your effort High Priestess Energy, moving towards the full moon on the 23rd here, um, we actually, our intuition will be heightened at this time, but with this Sagittarius full moon and the placements around it, um, there could be, there's a lot of opposition happening and there could be some secrets coming to light. You may want to do a full moon ritual, Scorpio, some um, either the day of the full moon on the 23rd or on the 24th. Harness this energy. Some of you, there are secrets that this person is keeping that's about to come to light. They could have blocked you. They could have uh, blocked you on all their social so you can't see what's going on here in their life for some of you for others you all have just been fighting you've had to stand up for yourself um there could be some some of you are involved with a narcissist scorpio i'm sorry but this person's coming out as highly narcissistic some of you may meet someone that gives you red flags left and right. Please trust your intuition about this person. You could meet a new person and you're going to get a really bad vibe about them. Trust yourself here, Scorp. Trust yourself. Why, why King of Swords in Reverse? Some of you um, meant a lover and it's been very difficult. They're keeping secrets from you. They're not being honest. There's physical distance between the two of you. They could be still dealing with someone they have children with, but trying to hide it, trying to mask it. In the next four to eight weeks, Scorpio, you could actually find text messages from another lover on this person's phone or something of the sort. You could find out that there's a third party 
in the mix. Some of you know this person is living with um, the, the mother or father of their children. You could have children to this person as well and they got involved with a narcissistic third party. Some of you, the narcissist is the third party. Tell me about this, please. <clears throat> you are matching though. This is your counter. I, I felt that to a cup's energy. Uh, my guys were giving me that message before I even seen it. This is a soul connection, Scorpio. This is a soulmate meant to help you grow and meant, meant to help you heal. But there is somebody else in the mix that's causing a lot of burden and a lot of chaos. It looks to me like there is some thank you spirit, queen of pentacles in reverse. There is a greedy, jealous karmic involved here in the background causing a lot of issues there's something you need to be aware of squirt that you're not seeing it's being obscured from you this person's not being honest with you uh, about whatever goes on here with this third party they're not being honest about even having a relationship with this person for some of you some of you, this person's trying to say they're only co-parenting, but there's something else happening. In the next eight weeks, you may find this out. An Aquarius, a Taurus, a Libra could be involved. Tell me about this greedy, jealous third party, please. Yeah period. This is our, this is the third party lover. My guides are confirming here, guys. Uh, this person feels like you are competition, Scorpio. They look at you like you are competition. They feel like the person on your mind is still hooking up with you, having one night stands with you or, or sexting. They're very jealous. I feel this. I feel this in the energy, guys. This is someone who is very jealous of you. They could be with your person for money. Your, your person could be with them for money and status. It's unrequited. The person on your mind is not putting in energy and effort towards this connection with this karmic. They could be trying to break free. They may be telling this third party that they don't want a commitment. They want to be single. For some of you, they're telling you that and they're having sex-filled bonds with a karmic. For others, this person is involved with a third party who wants more from them, but they only want to hook up. They don't look at this person as someone they would have a relationship with. And the third party is looking at you like you are competition. In the next eight weeks, there could be something that pops off with this person. Tell me about it, please. This karmic seems to feel like the person on your mind is juggling you. Some of you haven't even talked to this person on your mind, this person you have a soul connection with. You haven't even been in communication with them, but this karmic still feels like you are and they're really jealous. You could get some kind of communication from this crazy ass person. This third party is off their rocker. <laughs> they are uh, out of it. They are losing it with they're jealous and envious. This person is green with envy, Scorpio. They really look at you like you are competition. Some of you know that there's a third party in the background that this person's hooking up with because they won't give you a real commitment. They've been telling you that they don't want a, a serious commitment or they don't want a relationship. You know that there's someone else Something could pop off with that person in the next eight weeks. I knew exactly what I was doing, Scorpio. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. And we both know I'm not the one for you. Finding out the truth crushed me. Message from your higher self, Scorp. It seems like you found something out and it was crushing. This person could have told you we don't want the same thing, you know. I'm not the one for you. They feel that way. They feel like they're not good enough for you. They're always hiding things. They don't want you to judge them. They're keeping things from you. 
There's something below the surface going on though with this person. They could have a lot of trauma, a lot of abandonment wounds. They really truly do not know what they want or I would be careful on believing this person if they're not showing you. They, if this person talks a lot and shows a little, you, you got to be careful here because this third party is pulling the strings somehow. Whether they are controlling them with money, sex, they're controlling them with something, spell work perhaps. And Spirit's saying that is a big yes, guys. This person's being controlled by this karmic. Uh, it, it feels to me like it's with money, with children, with with responsibilities for most. For some of you, it's, it's with sex. For others, this third party is doing all sorts of spell work and manipulating them. And it's why this person doesn't give fully to you, Scorpio. A peaceful resolution and within the next few months. So a lot of you within the next few months, there will be a peaceful resolution. Some of you, it will be a reconciliation. Others, it will just be a peaceful resolution and you will be moving on down the damn road. No hard feelings, uh, but bye-bye now because this karmic is involved and you don't wanna be a third party. Congratulations for standing in your power. You are a standout, Scorpio. You are someone that commands um, the room when you walk in it. You command attention and um, you don't need to sit around and be somebody's side piece. I hope everybody has the most beautiful and blessed Monday ever. Today's going to be the best damn day I've ever had. Remember, Scorpio, I am open and receptive to all you have to offer me. Open up your arms. Universe, bring me my blessings. Love and light.